let's get things started. Here comes Sugar Rain Leonard, former WBC World Light Heavyweight Champion, former WBC Super Middleweight Champion, former WBC World Middleweight Champion, former WBA Junior Middleweight Champion, former contender to the WBC Super Welterweight title. He's going up against Borkov Bantamik. Multi-time K-1 World Max Tournament Champion, the White Locust, the White Lutus. Arthur Mercanti Jr. Here we go. Ten rounder underway to get thing to kick off our K-1 portion of the card. Sugar Ray Leonard trying... Borkov trying to... Oh, be fiddled Sugar Ray. It's what... Mm, he's trying to take advantage of what... Sugar Ray had in his last two fights against Terry Norris and Hector Camacho, respectively. And that is the aging factor. With his legacy, it don't matter. First round up. Mm. A lot of clinching by Sugar Ray Leonard. Huh? Trying for a knee strike is Borkoff. Trying to rally, rally against Borkov the same as he did against Marvin Hagler and the first fight with Thomas Hearns. What a first knockdown! The same as he did against Wilfred Benitez when he won the WBC World Welterweight title for the first time. Borkov trying to battle back. Round number three underway. Scheduled for ten. One, two, three. Another four. knockdown. <laughs> A ten round super lightweight attraction. <laughs> Sugar Ray Leonard, also a 1976 Olympic gold medalist, former Mid-Atlantic Boxing Welterweight Champion. Oh man! Spokon knocked down Sugar Ray! He's been knocked down several times since by Terry Norris! Oh man! What a way to end the round! Borkov Benjamin doesn't even seem to know what hit him. And, and presenting this event on high definition to our Japanese friends from Sky Perfect TV. And on close circuit locations all across the United States. Oh my! Sugar Ray Leonard! He wins! Sugar Ray Leonard has won another one! Another youngster vanquished. Hey, let's get this tarp. Let's get this party started. Legend versus youngster. 
Will Nagashima be able to knock out the legend known as Roberto Duran? Here comes Roberto Duran. He has bunches of fights under his belt. Former WBC World Worldweight Champion. Former WBC World Middleweight Champion in his own right. The Hands of Stone from Panama City, Panama. And his opponent from Japan, the one who knocked out Shinya Aoki at Dynamite 2010. Jainutsu, Yoshiro Nagashima. Carlos Padilla gets us underway. 10 round special attraction. Dainutsu versus the Hands of Stone. Dainutsu trying to out, trying to wail on Duran. And he does! First knockdown of the fight! Jainutsu wailing on Roberto Duran. Oh man! Another mighty upset knockout. This time, Jainutsu has defeated the Hands of Stone Roberto Duran. Oh man! That has got to go down as match. Hector Camacho versus Terry Norris. Terrible Terry Norris. In this featherweight special attraction. It's Macho time when it comes to Hector Macho Camacho. His final two losses were against Natalia and Sofia Vergara. Former IBC World Middleweight Champion, former WBC Lightweight Champion going up against this man. The former four-time WBC World Super Weatherweight Champion, Terrible Terry Norris. From Campo, California. The man who predominantly retired Sugar Ray Leonard before Hector Camacho did. Here we go! Camacho wailing on Norris. A clinching here by Terry Norris. First round is up. Here we go, round number two. Terrible Terry Norris versus Hector Macho Camacho. Just like Nino Terry Norris trying to be like Nino Benvenuti doing a lot of clinch work. And as I said in the previous match, oh my, Norris is down! On the WMAX, one of the closed circuit channels for this event, Nathan Fubaye. 
And on Cinemax. And on Teen Nick. For those under 18 and younger. Oh man, Kamato trying desperately to put Terry Norris away. And those watching in New York on the MSG network. And, and those strange fans who are watching on the Outer Max television in their closed circuit locations. And those midnight fans who are staying up on Max After Dark to watch this event. Oh my, Kamacho trying to wail on Terry Norris and another knockdown. Bob Santa, one of the most experienced referees in the amateur business today, gives Terry Norris a count. Oh man, another knockdown. Oh man! They call the fight! Hector Camacho has defeated Terrible Terry Norris! Oh boy! Now he can claim he is the man who retired Sugar Ray Leonard. And I'll let's get it started. Former WBF World Super Heavyweight Champion, Eric Butterbean etched. His famous win was against Fort Gun at WrestleMania 15. Against this man, the second man in K1 history to win four K1 World Grand Prix tournament titles. High Tower Simi Shield. The High Towering Viking. The 2005, 2006, 2007, and 2009 K1 World Grand Prix Champion. Here we go. Butterbean trying to wail on Simi. Shilk just knocked down Butterbean! Encouraging locations on Fine Star Max. For the Fine Star treatment. Oh my goodness! Simi Shilk has finished off Butterbean and does it quickly! The man originally known as the Motor City Cobra, now given to Chris Saban, will now take on the master of San Chow kickboxing. Here he comes. Former ISKA San Chow White Cruiserweight Champion. Former ISKA San Chow High Heavyweight Champion. Thomas the Hitman Hearn, former WBA World Weatherweight Champion, former WBA Junior or Middleweight Champion, former WBC World Middleweight Champion, former WBO World Super Middleweight Champion, and former NABF um, um, 
super middleweight, super middleweight champion. Here we go. Kung Lee versus Thomas Hearn. San Xiao versus Boxing. The newly formed Nate's Room Entertainment Productions. Doing fine well, along with Don King Promotions and Butch Lewis Promotions. Along with Nate Wow Network, Ains Coliseum Video, Dreamland World Weekly Enterprises, and Weekly Wallace, along with Global Force Wrestling, Budweiser, Arose, and PS4. First round came to an end. Thus far, Kung Lee has been trying to wail on Thomas Hearns for no avail. And for Mormax, for those on the closed circuit location on Mormax, we got our first knockdown of the fight. Kung Lee knocked down by Thomas Hearns. On Mormax. In the Mortville area. The first knockdown, Kung Lee knocks down Thomas Hearns. And those in Diapexy and Top Rank Incorporated. Toy Mark Pictures and Vidmark Entertainment. Two more, two knockdowns to Kung Lee. One more and it's over. And two knockdowns to Thomas Hearns to end this round. Here we go. Let's see who will knock down the most. Oh my! Kung Lee knocked down just like he had two more times in the last round. And the same goes again in this round. I'm telling you, he still got it. The Hitman still got it. And course, like gold. Hold draft beer. Oh my! The Hitman still got it! Thomas Hearns has defeated Kong Lee! Here he comes, the former undisputed and WBC middleweight champion of the world. He's going up against the former UFC lightweight champion of the world, Jen's Little Evil Pulver. Fight. Arthur McKinney <laughs> Sr. gets us underway. <laughs> If he attempted a takedown, that would have resulted in a clinch. Little Lever trying to rattle the bird of this one. And for those music lovers who are staying with us on M MTV, and the knockdown of the fight! Marvin Hagler knocked down by Jens Pulver! And a knockdown by Hagler on Pulver! End of the first round. And those music lovers on MTV be watching the Nathan Pumbaye. We sure welcome you. Right now, both are tied with one knockdown apiece, and there's two knockdowns for Hagler! Oh my, same as the last round! 
both are wailing on each other and just won't be denied. Hagler trying to pour it on Pulver. Second round about to come to an end. Saved by the bell. Here we go, round three underway, scheduled for 12. Oh my goodness, what an upset! Jen's little evil Pulver has defeated Marvelous Marvin Hagler. This has got to be considered Marvelous Marvin Hagler's first knockout loss of his career. Oh my goodness, what an upset to close out the K1 portion of the Nathan Pumbaye. Viviano Fernandez, the dream featherweight champion of the world. No, 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 he's not. Kasim is the. Here we go. Knee smash. Ulrich Bayer, an opponent of Sugar Ray Leonard, Leonard during the 1976 Montreal Olympics. An opponent for Viviano Fernandez. Viviano Fernandez who lost to Uriah Faber. And lost to Mizuno for the dream featherweight title as mentioned. Oh boy, triangular armbar. Oh my goodness, submission! Viviano Fernandez has defeated Ulrich Bayer. <clears throat> well, the East German got a lesson taught to him by the Brazilian Viviano The former King of the Cage, Bantamweight Champion of the World. Here comes my Makoto Aihara, the Judo Babe. The gold medalist from the 2001 Hun World Games. Now a Rumble Rose competing against all comers from all other games as she is taking on the former King of the Cage, Bantamweight Champion of the World, the California Kid, Uriah Faber. Here we go. Both of them skilled grapplers. Uriah Faber or taught extensively in jiu-jitsu from Ted Williams and his combat academy. Makoto Aihara, judo from Master Tatsu.
Oh boy! What a battering ram! Makoto! Trying to wail on Uriah Faber! Boom! Oh my, flying me! Shades of Bonjaski! Which we're gonna see against Nathan! What a suplex! Trying for an Uchimata! Second round about to come to a close. Five. Round number three underway. Schedule for ten. Oh my! Makoto Ihara has defeated Uriah Faber. A member of the Rumble Roses roster on the PS2. Raiko Hinamoto. The Zero Fighter. She's the champion of the people in, in Rumble Roses against this man. The 2012 K1 World Grand Prix Champion and the 2006 Pride Grand Prix the Openweight Tournament Champion Mirko Krokop Filipovich whose deadly high kicks and knees to the body low kicks to the body have sent many of an opponent to the hospital Here we go Mirko Krokop, a part of the K1 World Grand Prix roster on the PS2. So this is a cross-brand affair. Rumble Roses versus K1 World Grand Prix. Mirko Krokop, but Rico avoids it. What a slap by Rico. And another one. Trying for a high kick, it looks like. First round is up. Here we go, round number two, scheduled for 12. How long will Rie will Reiko Hinamoto stave off the Croatian sensation? Perfect breaker by Reiko! How long will she fend off the Croatian? Backbreaker! Figure four leg launch! Knee crowny strike! DDT! Pen Mancho! Oh man! In Rico's mind, she needs to win by pinfall or submission. In Mirko's mind, he has to win by knockout. And 
knocked out of Eugene Davis. Another knockdown win for Mirko Krokop. The Crusher, Tatsuya Kawajiri. He's going up against Hayato Maha Sakurai, former Shuto Walterweight Champion. Bill Lane gets us underway. Kawajiri versus Sakurai. Round and away. Michael Spinks, former linear heavyweight champion of the world, former Ring Magazine heavyweight champion of the world, former IBF heavyweight champion of the world, former undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world. He's going up against the first man to win the K1 World Grand Prix tournament, final tournament four times. Mr. Perfect, Ernesto Boost.
If you're watching this fight on Fight, Iron Club, YouTube, WWE Network, and NJPW World. Glad you can join us for this historic event. This is the main event of the MMA part of the Nathan Pumaye. Michael Spinks versus Ernesto Hoost. Here we go. Trying, who's trying for a knockdown? Both of them are attempting knockdowns. Yeah. Round three underway. Trying to take Michael Spinks' lean knees away. Remember, it was a knee injury that kept Michael Spinks out of boxing for a short time. Ernesto who beats Michael Spinks. That will close out the MMA portion of the Nathan Pumaye. GFW World Tag Team titles on the line. Here at the Hope Against Sugar Buzz. The following is Already the GWF Tag Team Champions. The Butcher, Blade, Bunny, along with Eddie Kingston and Ray Phoenix. At a combined weight of 400 pounds, they are the, the Blood Brothers. The, the Bad Sons, the reigning GFW Global Tag Team champion Champions. Won the titles at the June 4th the Mega Show. Now advanced. looking to successfully defend them here at the Nathan Bumbaye. Global Tag Team titles on the line. Butcher and Blade, along with the reunited Bunny, Eddie Kingston, Ray Phoenix, and Pentagon Jr., along with the champion versus the champions, Ecstatic and Tyler Aiken, the Bad Sons. One of these teams is going to have to work in unison from bell to bell if they want those tag team titles. 
And that's what it's all about. The global tag team titles on the line. Butcher and Blade versus the Bad Sons. Right here, right now. And it's on. Extreme Rules underway. Blade going to work on Tyler Aiken. Oh no! The Butcher trying to submit Tyler Aiken. That could have been disastrous. Treading all over their opponent. Oh, check this out. Oh, Blade Runner by the Butcher. Something out of Jay White's playbook. Or the Fiend. Lion Salt by the, the Butcher. The Butcher and Blade want to become the GFW Tag Team Champions in a worse way. After reuniting with the Bunny. And now under the guidance of Eddie Kingston. Stunner by the Butcher. Anticipated that. By Tyler Aitken. Referee down. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no count outs. Oh no, Butcher. Took the chair away from Tyler Aitken. The leaning neck breaker. I'll be surprised if we're going to crown new GFW tag champions right here tonight at the Nathan Bumaye. This is just going to be physical. There's no other way to describe it. Whack. Ecstatic right on the blade. Have a seat. Right between the eyes. Sambo style. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. Ooh. Oh, no. Blake going, working, going after Tyler Aiken. Oh, and that's the second time. You don't want to get hit with that once, let alone twice. And the blade. So oh, oh, no. Once so again, the butcher going to work on Tyler Aiken. Oh no, he's going to work on Aiken. I'll be surprised if we're going to crown new tag team champions here. You know, these guys are giving it absolutely everything they've got. Tyler Aiken. Want to retain the challengers slipping away. I'm not used to seeing this. Uh oh, Tyler Aiken, he's looking for the finish. Blade still at ring sign. Cross the shoulders. Land slowly. Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? The pin's broken. Oh man! Aiken was trying to break up. Trying to prevent the blade from, um, oh no, ecstatic, like, is trapped in there with the butcher and the blade. All likelihood, we're gonna crown new tag team champions, new GFW tag champions. Cross the shoulders. He's trying again.
The challenger being outclassed here. He has got to do something quick. Oh my! And there's the save! Oh my! The blade! He just cannot be caught. The bunny! Eddie Kingston! Right between the eyes. Nice neck breaker. Perhaps concerned that their team was only seconds away from being defeated! with the loose that express boom, boom, he's bringing it back inside the ring now why burrito trying butcher and blade have ink and trap Lion Salt Mist! That's a big error on their part. Oh no! Blade! He's going for it! They're gonna win the tag team title! Oh no! They're looking to win the tag team titles right here, right now! Oh no! One! Two! Oh my goodness! Butcher and Blade are the new GFW Global Tag Team Champions! Eddie Kingston and Bunny! They are ecstatic! Talk about having to dig down deep to pick up the win. And with this win, we set off what I predict will be an amazing championship run. As we saw here tonight, teams will do just about anything when the tag titles are on the line. Oh my goodness. Butcher and Blade Aid reunited with the bunny and and still aligned with Eddie Kingston are the new GFW Global Tag Team Champions. I can't believe it. Home in Greensboro. The Sugar Burns Cereal Bowl Bowl Stadium will give Rock. There he is. The original bro. The gentleman himself. Here comes the next gen champion. Gentleman Jack Gallagher defending the GFW Next Gen title against Matt Riddle tonight. Will Riddle do it?
Here we go. Riddle. Gallagher. For the next gen title. Here we the go. Champion came out here somewhat gloating their belt around. Don't know if that's their way of playing mind games. That title should give anyone the right to gloat. Look, what good is it being on top of the mountain if you don't get to look down on everybody else? That is a sad attitude to have. Matt Riddle going to work. Huge overhead belly to belly. On Jack Gallagher. This is his chance. Watch to silence here. his critics once and for all by winning the next gen title. With the championship at stake, you know these superstars are going to give everything they can to win here tonight. He's stalking his opponent all the way from the top. Oh no! Ran into the referee accidentally! Look! Here's my problem with Matt Riddle's Oh whole no, that, that's easier than a one point deduction for fouls in boxing. In a competitive environment like WWE, he's swimming with sharks. He should at least put some shoes on. Champ comes into this match incredibly motivated, though. And now, let's make sure he does it right this time. Look at this. Proton! He is efficient and dangerous with his offense thus far. His offense is second to none at times like this. I talked to superstars backstage who had first Ooh, experience. Smart move by the champion. What a counter! When he has you in a hole, it is the ultimate uphill battle to break free. Do you have one piece of advice for Matt Riddle's opponent based on those conversations? Absolutely. Don't try to chain wrestle Matt Riddle because that's just asking. Oh my! Brutusly! Brutusly! Yeah, we knew this wasn't over. Oh no, Kiro Tozawa! The multi time! Oh no! I can't believe I'm saying this, but sharks don't wear clothes, Saxton. Don't intimidate it at all! King Tombstone! Cover! One, two, and he got him! We have a new GFW Next Gen Champion! Matt Riddle has done the impossible! Matt Riddle is the new next-gen champion.